Hello, broadcasters. Welcome to episode 225 of the StreamYard Live uh, Town Hall. My name's Gage, and I'm here with Dan, of course. Dan, how are you doing? Doing good. How you doing? Uh, doing well. Super excited for tonight. We have some fun announcements, so super, uh, super excited to hear all of your guys' thoughts on, on the new stuff uh, that's, that's coming. Um, and for anyone new here, uh, Dan and I are the founders of StreamYard. Uh, we do these town halls every single Sunday at 6 p.m., uh, Pacific, and we do them for a few reasons. Uh, one is to stay in tune with all of you, go through the same flow that you all do with your own shows uh, and productions. Uh, two is to answer any of your questions. Uh, that's why we're calling it Ask StreamYard. So if there's anything you'd like us to touch on tonight, feel free to leave it in the chat, and we'll do our best to get to as many uh, as we possibly can. Uh, and then I always mention uh, the three pillars of StreamYard, which are ease of use, stability, and professional stream. So if you're about those three things, StreamYard is the tool for you. Uh, see folks from all over the world uh, tonight. So great to have uh, all of you here. We have uh, how we got here from uh, Prince Edward Island. Very cool, PEI. Cool. Uh, before I forget, we have lots of awesome shows on StreamYard. Uh, we got YouTube channel reviews uh, with D and Daniel the second Saturday of every month. Uh, really great show if you're looking to grow on YouTube. D and Daniel are both pros when it comes to all things YouTube. Um, it's a really fun show. They give really specific, actionable feedback on individual channels, things like how to think about thumbnails and your, your niche, um, all that stuff. And then we got Enhancer live streams the last Tuesday of the month with Nick Nimmin. Um, Nick, again, pro when it comes to, to all things uh, video. So definitely tune in there for your live streaming questions. Um, and then one thing we've been doing at the start of these so that we get to know uh, a little bit more about all of you and you get to know a little bit more about us is the fun fact. And the fun fact we had for tonight was favorite restaurant. Do you have a uh, favorite restaurant, Dan? I don't have like a favorite, you know, this is my go-to. I've always loved this restaurant or even like a chain that I've always been a huge fan of, I would say. The biggest one for me that I could think of is when I was living in Vancouver. And like, well, you know, Gage, because you lived in Vancouver for a while. The sushi... Like all the sushi places in Vancouver are just phenomenal. This is Vancouver, Canada. And there was this one sushi place near where I used to live that was just amazing. So I don't even know what it's called. I just, I know where it is and I know how good it was. And that would be my favorite restaurant. How about you? Yeah, for sure. When I was, uh, I'm more of like a home, home cooked meal type uh, person. But when I was a kid, it was probably Chili's was definitely a, a restaurant that I liked going to. Um, but yeah, like you said, Vancouver had amazing sushi. So if I had to pick a recent one, it would probably be any of the sushi places in Vancouver. Every single one of them was amazing that I uh, that yeah. I went to. I don't think I've ever had Chili's. Yeah, it's like like an Applebee's or Red, like, Red Robins was mentioned. It's very close to like a Red Robins. Imagine they don't have them in Canada, which is a guess. Cool. Um, yeah, if you've never heard of it, I would guess not. Um, and I don't remember ever seeing one there. Uh, so for, should we jump into some of the new updates? The first one uh, we had was on-air customization. I think um, we actually had this come up uh, last town hall. So cool that we get to uh, announce that it's coming uh, soon. I think the other update that we'll get to in a second here was also from, from last time. But Dan, do you want to share a little bit about um, what this looks like and, and how it works? Cool. Yeah, I'd love to. So on-air customization for, I guess, for first of all, for those of you that are not aware of StreamYard on Air, this is our webinar product that we launched about but four or five months ago now. So you can use all the features that StreamYard has in the studio instead of just doing a live stream to YouTube or Facebook. I mean, you can obviously still do that stuff. StreamYard on Air is using the same studio, but it's much more of a webinar type solution or a live stream on your own website. So you could stream to your own website and embed it without having to use the YouTube player and YouTube ads and everything. Or you could actually just do it on StreamYard and invite your viewers to a StreamYard link. And then it's kind of like a much more white label webinar type solution than live streaming to the social platforms. So that's StreamYard on air. One of the things we did not have until now was the ability to customize that experience a lot more. And there'll be more stuff coming over time, but we're launching the first version of customization and it'll be near the end of the week. So it'll start to roll out kind of midweek. And by the end of the week, everyone should have access to it. At least everyone that has on air. And I'll just show a picture of what this looks like. So you'll basically be able to upload your logo and then also choose a color for StreamYard on air. And then that will customize the landing page that your viewers see when you send out the links, like the registration page. And then also we'll customize the emails that get sent out using both your color and your logo. So I'll just show a picture of this is what the modal will look like where you upload this stuff. So, I mean, it'll be pretty straightforward. You can choose the color you want to use. You can upload a logo. And then it just shows you a little customization or a little preview, I guess. Yeah, you can call it. I think that's what we call it there. 
of here's what roughly what the registration page will look like. Here's what the emails will look like. It also make a few changes to the watch page. We'll probably get into more detail, maybe some more specific pictures about what it looks like next week once it's rolled out to everybody. But short version is you can now actually customize the StreamYard on Air experience a lot more than you previously could because you didn't have any customization up until now. Awesome. So yeah, if uh, if any of you have any feedback or questions on, on the new feature, definitely let us know. Um, I'm really excited about it. It's, I think it's really cool with just a few clicks, you know, just a logo and a color. You have a, a landing page that looks and a registration page that looks really, really awesome. Yep. All right, let's get to some of the questions we had here. Uh, Paul Watts says, uh, hey guys, here from the UK, I'd love to be able to have a hotkey to bring up the latest comment. This would be great to achieve with the Elgato foot pedal uh, while I'm working live. Uh, that's a great piece of feedback. Uh, Paul, we definitely want to add more uh, hotkeys. So I'm definitely open to, to having one for, for the latest uh, comment. And that definitely <laughs> sounds like a cool setup to have the, the foot pedal for the, uh, the, the comments. That's awesome. Any other thoughts yeah. on that one, Dan? Yeah, yeah, it's cool. I assume you're like, you know, maybe working on something with your hands and then hitting the pedal. So, yeah, we want to add more hotkeys in general. I don't, that was not actually one I don't think I've ever heard that come up before. I'd be curious if anyone else has the same question or wants to do the same thing. I assume just to confirm, Paul, what you mean is like very most recent comment, whatever just showed up when you press that pedal or, you know, if you had a stream deck, you press a button and it's just like show whatever the absolute most recent comment was and then probably press it again and it removes it. And then you press it again and it would show whatever the new most recent comment is. Maybe it's the same comment, maybe it's a new one. You can just confirm and same thing if anyone else wants something like that. We could also have it where there's a setting maybe where the, it automatically comes up. I think we've talked about this before, but I think anything where it's automatic is a little risky because you kind of want to vet the comments. Usually, sometimes, you know, if you get a comment that maybe you don't really want to show on screen, it's not great if we're doing it automatically. Absolutely. Uh, all right, let's see what else we had here. Um, Scott says, any chance in the foreseeable future for more font options? I have a branded font I use in Canva and I would like to use it. Uh, do you want to take that one, Dan? Yeah, I would say we're definitely open to that. I'd be curious, same thing if anyone else has wanted to have custom fonts. I'd also be curious, Scott, what the font is or like how, how custom it is. Is it like really out there or is it just you know very slightly different than some of the fonts we already have? I do find the fonts are kind of optimized for the specific themes. So we'd maybe want to go a little farther and give you more control over everything. But yeah, good to know. Cool. Thanks. Yeah, not on our roadmap or anything right now. Uh, Mike says, hey guys, wearing my hoodie that I won a few weeks ago. It's a great hoodie and very comfortable. Uh, thank you. Awesome, Mike. Congrats on uh, winning. I definitely, I'm biased, but I also am uh, wearing it now. And I think it's comfortable. Um, Strasburg says, uh, Question, how big can layouts be on stream when people join my live stream? How big? So it might be helpful, Strasburg, to have a little bit more details, but with layout, with the custom layouts, you you have pretty much full control over what's on screen. So when it comes to like, you know, how big you want a particular camera to be or how small you want the camera to be, um, as long as it's within that, you know, 16 by nine window, um, it's, you're sort of fully in, in control, but maybe you mean something else. So let, let me know. Um, Jorge says, uh, one thing, when will we have uh, chat availability for Twitter live? Hopefully soon, Jorge. I, I don't have a date or anything like that. Unfortunately, we are dependent on Twitter for access uh, to that live chat. And since the since it switched from Periscope to Twitter, that hasn't been available, but um, I know the the team over there um, is, is passionate about live video, and I'm optimistic that that they will add it at some point, but it's not available yet. Uh, how we got here, Genealogy says, uh, just watched these streamer video on lighting, one of the best videos, uh, help videos I've seen in a while. Awesome, super happy to hear that. Cool. Uh, Jason's channel says, just got the upgrade on iPad and iPhone. Any tips? Um, let me know if I'm misunderstanding, Jason, but I, I, do you mean like you got the paid plan and you're using an iPad and, and an iPhone? If so, um, YouTube channel is probably the best place. There's all kinds of great content talking about uh, from people like Dee and, and Daniel and, and Nick, Roberto, Sean, um, and uh, Mel, all, all the folks from, from, from StreamYard, all about how you can have the most success when it comes to things like iPads and, and iPhones. So check out the, the YouTube channel. Yeah, and if you meant something else, let us know. All right. We got lots of other questions here that uh, I want to get to, but I don't want to miss the next announcement. So let me, let me just make, let's get to the announcement and then we'll get back to, to the questions. 
The other update uh, that's coming very soon is the ability to auto star super chats. So this actually came up last week as well. And the, the main pain point this is solving is, you know, if you're getting super chats and you have a very active chat, sometimes those can get lost when you really want to highlight that on screen. Do you want, you want to talk a little bit more about how it works exactly, Dan? Yeah, so it'll be pretty straightforward. So I know, I know not everyone gets super chats, not everyone even streams to YouTube, but if you stream to YouTube and you do have super chats on or you have access to super chats and you've gotten a super chat on StreamYard before, you might be familiar that or how it works. Like we show that it's a super chat. We make it very clear it's a super chat, but if you have a lot of comments, you can kind of lose those in the thread. And obviously if somebody paid you money, they gave you a super chat, you ideally want to show that on screen and really give that person a shout out. So at the moment, you've always had to kind of scroll back and try and find those super chats or have maybe somebody else helping you out that's starring those, or maybe you're trying to star them as the show's going on because it's not always appropriate to show it on screen when you're right in the middle of talking about something. So yeah, we're gonna have the ability to automatically star those and this will just be turned on by default. You will be able to turn it off, but we'll automatically star them so that any super chats coming in are just automatically going into the starred comments tab. And then it kind of, you know, if you're by yourself, it just sort of solves the problem of, hey, you can star a bunch of other comments, but you don't have to worry about starring super chats. They'll automatically go in there. You can just go into your starred section, show all the super chats on screen, whatever is kind of a convenient time for you. And obviously if you do have someone else helping you out, they also don't have to worry about starring the super chats. They just star all the other comments. Everything, you know, all the super chats will be automatically starred because we just find almost everyone usually wants to highlight the super chats on screen. Made sense to just start them automatically. So I yeah, hope that's helpful. Nice quality of life improvement, I'd say, for anyone who, if you get any amount of super chats, I think it's helpful. If you get a lot of them, it's definitely very helpful. Awesome. So yeah, if you have any feedback, let us know your, your thoughts. Uh, we have a question here from Steven regarding the, the on-air. Uh, the screenshot shows payment method by Amazon. Are we able to charge for admission yet, or is this a tease of more to, to come? Yeah. So the screenshot was just Amazon as an example. Like if you were Amazon doing using StreamYard on air, like that's sort of what the branding uh, would would look like. And it was just like a uh, it was like the registration, not necessarily like an ad admission. Um, that being said, we definitely understand that uh, the ability to charge for for registration is is a top requested uh, feature, Stephen. So stay tuned on that. It's definitely something we would like to to support. Yeah, I'll, I'll use a, a different company logo for the next one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. All right. Um, Road to 500 subs says, what age for StreamYard? Um, so StreamYard, if you just mean like when StreamYard launched, what's it been, Dan? About five years now? Four and a half. Four and a half years. Um, Alistair says, super excited for the new on-air features. It's such a great uh, event tool. Awesome, Alistair. Really happy to hear that. Cool. Uh, Jorge says it's it's important for us to be able to move the title and chat box on screen. I'd be curious, Jorge, if you're referring to uh, like the comments, like what I'm showing right now, or or if you mean something else on on screen. Um, I'm thinking he's talking comment. banner and comments. Banner and comments. Um, yeah, so that's definitely it's not available uh, at at this time. Um, under the same thread of custom layouts, we are going to be adding deeper levels of, of customi customization. Um, so we'll, we'll see what else comes when it comes to uh, things like that. Uh, Travel Discovery says, is there a way to annotate uh, when sharing the screen? Mm. Uh, you want to take that one, Dan? I'm not, I'm not yes. sure. Yeah, yeah. So not on StreamYard. And I assume by annotate, you mean like I want to draw stuff on screen. If that's not what you mean, let me know. Um, but not on StreamYard itself. That's something we've considered maybe adding and it doesn't come up all that much, but I think that'd be kind of cool, especially if the guests could maybe scribble on it as well. And um, there are certain programs where you can do that. So, you know, if you're screen sharing something that has that, you can obviously annotate on that product itself and then just screen share it instead of using the PowerPoint sharing on StreamYard. Like you'd have to actually use the screen share functionality. That's kind of the only way to achieve it now, but yeah, it's interesting. And, and if I'm, you know, that's not what you're referring to being able to draw, definitely let me know. Cool. Someone might actually know the answer to like with PowerPoint, when you're screen sharing PowerPoint, I assume you can annotate that. I, I think PowerPoint and Drive and all of those or Google Slides all have that. But if you're not sharing that, yeah. I'm not sure if there's a tool for that. Maybe someone in the chat will know. Cool. Uh, PDF elves, I see a lot of comments from you regarding, um, you know, you having unwanted guests joining the stream. So the best thing I can recommend for that is to just make sure you do not share your guest link publicly, right? So 
Uh, there's definitely some folks that do that if they have sort of a community show where they want anybody to be able to join. But if you do share the link publicly, you are taking the risk that people that, you know, want to troll you or don't like you are, are going to come on and, and ruin the, the show. So I definitely, if you're having problems with that, would recommend only sharing it with folks that you know and trust and that you actually want on, on the show. And we do actually have another feature as an extra level of security to have, force folks to have to log in with YouTube or Facebook in order to be able to join the panel. So that's another option as well. But the best thing by far is only share the link with, with folks you trust. Yep. All right. Uh, let's see what else we had here. Um, uh, Chris says, hey, guys, I'm just curious. Can you see when we send you these emojis in the chat? I can't see them when I do uh, a live. So we can see most of the emoji, uh, emojis, Chris, if, if you're not seeing them, um, it would be good to, if you could reach out to streamer.com slash contact. There are some YouTube specific emojis that we don't support yet. So I'm guessing that's what it is. There's certain types of emojis, but the vast majority of them, I don't see any comments that have one now. But probably some folks will start using it now. This comment has one on YouTube. I'm not sure. <laughs> no, because when it does, it usually has like a, a nickname ah. for it or something in it. Um, so we, and we'll gradually continue to add support for more and more of those types of emojis, Chris, but the vast majority should be supported and the ones that aren't might be custom to, to YouTube and we are planning on adding more support for that in the future. Uh, Tony says, when will StreamYard have an iOS app, especially for us solo shooters in live streams remotely? Switching around is hard and can be clunky on a phone browser. It's a good question, Tony. I don't have a specific date for you, but the team is definitely working on addressing, you know, how can we make the best possible mobile uh, experience? So I think you'll be happy with some of the stuff that's that's coming out. So, so stay tuned on that. Uh, Strasburg says, question, can you live stream on Twitter if you have it or Facebook? So you can stream to both Twitter and Facebook, uh, Strasburg. And both at the same time, if you want to. Uh, Petty Talks TV says, yes, and both at the same time. Uh, when will you allow guests to see each other in the backstage while they're waiting to be featured? Not necessarily needing a green room. Um, it's a good question, Petty Talk. So we, I don't have a specific date on that. We are actively exploring ways that we can improve the, the guest experience in, in the backstage and improve communication with them and other guests and the host beyond just the private uh, chat, um, which which may, may or may not involve actually like uh, video uh, communication, something that we're still exploring. Um, the first iteration is definitely more involved with the green room. The green room, we are exploring more direct ways to actually have folks be able to see each other. Um, but I would be curious, uh, Petty Talks, if there's anything, if it's just like it's 100% video, that's definitely the thing that you that, that you want. Because the main reason we've, we've hesitated with it in the past is the confusion for, for guests potentially of like, am I actually on screen yet? Because I'm having a conversation now. Um, so we have it's sort of a, a delicate thing to like, how can we make sure it's it's as easy to understand as possible for, for guests while also having that great benefit of them feeling like they're able to communicate with folks. Um, but yeah, any other details you have, or if that's like it's video or nothing and like video is the way to go, would, would be curious. Yep. All right. Uh, Randall says, any possibility for program output to a second monitor? I'd be curious to learn more, Randall, uh, in terms of what, what you, what you want to do with the second monitor? Like, is it for recording or uh, what exactly? Because there might be other features within StreamRide that would address what you're trying to, to do. Um, I mean, there's obviously things like screen mirroring and whatnot, like things that you can handle on the hardware level to like make it where what you see on your main monitor is duplicated on another screen. So it just really depends on what you're trying to, trying to do. If you could share a little bit more detail, that'd be helpful. Yeah, I was almost thinking maybe he meant having like StreamYard on two different monitors. So it's just like, you know, comments are over here, banners are over here on this other monitor, but I'm not sure. Maybe let us know, Randall. Uh, Mad Mumsy says, uh, use the editing of my recordings first time this week. Loved it, but my internet was dodgy. So the uh, uploaded recording was needed, but I can't edit it in the studio. Had to use my other software for editing. Uh, I, yeah, Mumsy, I assume you're referring to the local recording uh, feature. So right now with local recording, like you said, it's great because if you have poor internet, you will be able to get that high quality uh, output. But for editing right now, you do have to edit those files outside of StreamYard. But that is something that we want to add, the ability to also edit those in, in StreamYard. Yep. All right. Uh, another question from Chris says, uh, where's the starred comment section? Uh, so it's uh, right 
if you click comments, Chris, there's something that says live, and then there's another section that says starred. So, just but only if you've actually starred a comment. Ah, yes, that's it. So that it doesn't it doesn't appear if you've never starred comments, but if you're just you know if you're in the studio even just before the streams live, we have that example comment in there. You'll see like if you hover on it, there's a little star. If you hit that, you'll see the second tab appear all of a sudden. Or if you get your first super chat once we release this change we just mentioned, then those will automatically go into this starred comments tab. That'll also be coming out about midweek, by the way. Both things we announced today will be rolling out like midweek or late this week. So it's not out right this second. Yes. A uh, question from Joshua says, uh, when you process the video, can you utilize AI to get audio transcription to help summarize summaries, generate keywords, tags, et cetera? Absolutely, Joshua. So uh, obviously with, with OpenAI and all the super powerful stuff that's, that's happened with um, large language models, um, we're, we're actively exploring uh, especially with things like editing and, and some of the stuff that you've mentioned here, how we can uh, leverage all the power that, that we have access to within StreamYard. So um, definitely lots of those stuff, lots of those things are, are being worked on. Uh, video marketing producer says, how do you kick out unwanted guests? So at the, um, at the bottom of the, the, the studio three, there's a, um, each guest that you have, there's these three little dots. Uh, oh, I think it might have. <laughs> where, where, where's the kick button exactly again? Oh, you got it. Yeah, there's three dots, and then you can kick them from there. Oh, it's because you're a host that I'm not seeing the. I was, yeah, I was, you don't see it for me. Yeah. Gotcha. So I, I confuse myself because since Dan is a co host, you can't kick your own co host. So there's not the option there. But if uh, presumably the guest is not a co host, so you'll just click, go down under their, their video tile there, you click those three dots, and there's an option to remove them from the, uh, the studio. And oftentimes the way that that's used is not necessarily because it's an unwanted guest. It's the, the way I see it used more frequently is if someone's at capacity and someone has forgotten to leave, that can be valuable if you have an event that has lots of, of people joining. Yeah. And I would say like, cause just cause you use the word unwanted. If this is someone you didn't want to join in the first place, you may want to actually ban them potentially. So there's a kick button and a ban button to ban people though. We chatted about this briefly earlier, You'll have to basically turn on a setting where people have to log in with Google or Facebook so that you can actually ban them. So that is another option. You can permanently ban people from your studio and actually from all future studios as well. All right. Let's see what else we had here. Should we go ahead, Dan, start queuing up the giveaway tool while I answer a couple more questions here? Um, Left Coast Graphics says, uh, why can't I pay my StreamYard subscription with PayPal? Um, PayPal is just not something we support yet, uh, Left Coast, um, but hopefully at some point we, we will have support for it. But right now it is uh, just credit card at the moment. Uh, Ali says, question, have you guys thought about making a quick tutorial uh, screen or pop-up with guest instructions uh, that tells guests to do things like mute their YouTube tab, uh, et cetera? So we do have, like when you click invite, if you opt to, uh, like send an email and whatnot, we, we do have a, a specific link for you to share with your guests that has lots of instructions. Um, but we're definitely open to adding more uh, more items to those. Like th I, I think we include muting the, the YouTube tab, but I could be wrong about, about that. But if there's anything in there that you feel like would be useful that's not in there, we're definitely open to, uh, to adding it. Yeah, I can't remember if that's in there specifically. We can check after. Cool. Um, Awesome. It looks like uh, many of you are already familiar with the, the, the giveaway. Uh, so uh, at the end of these, we always do um, a StreamYard giveaway. Uh, to be eligible, all you have to do is type in hashtag uh, the, the yard. Uh, and tonight we'll give away, um, let's do a StreamYard pillow, a StreamYard duck, and a StreamYard uh, sweater. So we'll give you 10 or 15 seconds or so to get in your hashtag uh, the yards. And if you're ever interested in doing a giveaway like this uh, yourself, we actually made this tool publicly available at StreamYard.com slash giveaway. And it has a little instruction video of it, how exactly to use it. But you can do exactly what we're doing here, where you just share your screen and, and can run a giveaway. Cool. All right. Um, Square Table Degenerate says, is it true if you get a visible StreamYard duck tattoo that you get 20% off StreamYard <laughs> service? Oh. Um, we do not have a formal policy regarding <laughs> uh, duck tattoos. There was an awesome gentleman uh, who got a StreamYard uh, duck tattoo. Um, 
and we might've done something special for him. I can't remember if it was a discount or we just sent them a bunch of stuff. Uh, but we were definitely thought it was really cool that he got a, yeah, a awesome. duck tattoo. But if you're getting a duck tattoo that is the the official StreamYard puddles the duck, let us know and and we can maybe do something cool for you. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend you do it just to get a discount. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hopefully there's. But if you're you that like into and you want to get one, we may be able to give you some. All right. Is it has it steadied, Dan? I think we're good enough. Yeah, I think we're good. All right. And Let's what are ahead. what are we giving away? Uh, a StreamYard pillow, StreamYard sweater, and the StreamYard duck. All right, cool. Good luck, everyone. Tahoe Brandon, thanks so much for hanging out with us uh, tonight. If you could send an email to contact at streamer.com, uh, the team can work with you to get your address and the size of your sweater and all of that fun stuff. Cool. All right, we have time for a few more questions here. Uh, Scott says, what about how to ban someone in the comments? Um, yeah, that's actually really easy, Scott. Uh, there's it, on the comment section, there's three dots as well. Um, and you just click those three dots. And depending on the platform, each platform has certain ha has sort of like different moderation options. So for YouTube, for example, you can either put them in a timeout so they can't chat for a while um, or block them uh, entirely. Um, so yeah, that's how you, how you do that. Yep. Also, we moderators, we always recommend using moderators. Um, as a, cause like if you're someone who's hosting the broadcast and you're focusing on like delivering the content and engaging with folks in, in the audience, it can be a lot to do that. And then also be, you know, moderating. Uh, so we definitely recommend having folks that you trust as moderators in your stream that to help out if, uh, if you do have enough chats that, that, that is, that, that comes up. Yep. All right. Let's see. We have time for maybe a couple more here. Um, Visual Stenographer says, any plans to support animations in PowerPoints? So this is something we'd love to support, Visual Stenographer. Um, but due to the format, it has been somewhat difficult to, to fully support it. But it's something that we're continuing to explore and try to figure out, like, how can we do this? Because we, we definitely understand. I like, would how love valuable. to support that. Yeah. If but yeah. Any other thoughts on it, Dan, other than it's something that, that we're trying, that we really want to do? It's just a difficult thing to to add yeah so i mean we do support it if you screen share so that is sort of the workaround now like if you really want to have the animations or you know play a video inside the powerpoint slides or a nice gif or something i would recommend just screen share it that will actually work quite well it's just you know if you have one monitor screen sharing is not really a great solution we would like to try and get that powerpoint sharing tool to be more feature rich and support some of that stuff like basically anything moving right now is not supported like gifs videos animations so yeah we'd love to try and figure out a way to do that it is tricky but might be possible. Awesome. Uh, and with that, uh, this was episode 225 of the StreamYard Live uh, Town Hall. Uh, thank you all so much for, for hanging out with us. It's always uh, a pleasure uh, being with you and, and answering all, all your questions. We'll see you next week uh, at, the, at the same time, um, and we can go into even more details on some of the fun uh, updates coming out. Cool. Looking forward to it. See you next week, everyone.